All right, so today I'm going to show you how to connect any tool you like to Chatbase using Zapier. For this example, I'm going to connect it to a Google Sheet, but it will work for any tool you like, like Notion, ClickUp, Pipeline, or Monday, whatever you use. You can use this to better manage your customer support or to add potential leads to your CRM system. If you're new here, Chatbase is this amazing tool that lets you build chatbots for anything. You can upload your own data, like text files, Notion pages, or even crawl your website. Then you can train your AI on your data, and then you can use your AI chatbot anywhere, like on your website, in Slack, or integrate it with platforms like Instagram or Facebook. So to get started for free, just go to chatbase.co and check it out. All right, let's get into this tutorial. So first things first, you need a Chatbase chatbot. If you don't have one, I'll link a full step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video on how to create your own. The entire process is super simple and fast. Now inside your chatbot, go into your chatbot settings and find leads. There you need to make sure you have these form options enabled. You need name, email, and phone number. Save that and now we're ready to go over to Zapier. Assuming you already have an existing Zapier account, first go inside your account, click this big orange create button and select Zaps. And now from there, click on the trigger and then search for Chatbase. As the trigger event, select form submission and under account, click sign in. We need an API key, so go to your Chatbase account settings, find API keys in the submenu and click create API key. Now copy that new key and then go back to Zapier and paste it into the API key field. Now you just add a display name like Chatbase Leads, then click Continue. Next, you will be asked to provide your chatbot ID. To find that, go to your chatbot settings and press this button to copy the ID. Then go back to Zapier. Under Configure, paste your chatbot ID in the provided input field and click Continue. Then you just click the Test button and you should be connected. And next, let's add an action in Zapier. First, click and search for your tool of choice wherever you would like to send your leads. Let's connect it to Google Sheets for this example. First, I will connect my Google account and as the action event, I will select create spreadsheet row. I'll choose my drive, my spreadsheet and my worksheet. Then I will map each field to the correct data. Everything is very clearly labeled. Now click continue and then click test. You should see that test data come through immediately. Now all you have to do is click publish and everything should be ready to go. If we open up a chatbot and fill out and submit the lead form, then we will see the same information immediately be populated in our spreadsheet columns. Now obviously this is a very basic example and you could take it much further with multiple step zaps inside of Zapier and you could obviously build out a much more effective CRM. But this is a great place to start and when it comes to automation, I highly recommend that anyone using Chatbase should set this up for their own chatbots. It's such an effective way to collect more leads for your business. All right, thank you guys for watching this quick little tutorial. If that helped you out, please drop a like and let us know what else you'd like to see from us in the comments below. If you still need to sign up for Chatbase, go to our website to get started for free. If you want to know what to watch next, I highly suggest this quick video we made showing you step-by-step -step how to build AI chatbots for clients. Thank you for watching again, and I will see you guys in the next one.